The primer system consists of a one quart fuel tank, which is this. Uh, this is a, a jazz uh, non-metallic tank that uh, holds one quart of gasoline. That was originally used uh, to be um, uh, f to, to fit into a junior dragster as the main fuel tank, but in this particular application, it works really well. From the bottom of the tank, there is a shutoff valve right here. And from the shutoff valve, it, we have a stainless steel line that goes down to a little purulator uh, pump under here. The pump, once the push, the momentary push button in the cockpit is pushed, and that momentary uh, switch is right here, you just push it, and it shoots through this line that comes from the other end of the pump. It shoots uh, a shot of gasoline into this Edelbrock spray bar. Uh, under the, in our case, a toilet or a carburetor, whichever the case is, and it atomizes gasoline uh, to start the engine. The reason that you need this primer pump, uh, especially with a fuel injected system like this, is because you have a low mounted fuel pump that's belt driven down here, and you've got to get that fuel all the way up your main fuel line and into um, your uh, toilet or could be a carburetor. Uh, and it, it has a height to go, and a mechanical fuel pump just won't pump that fuel uh, up that distance. So uh, it, it's absolutely necessary. In the case of a carburetor, uh, if the fuel bowls run dry, uh, it's just a, an additional aid uh, to, get, to get the car started. Uh, motors will not start dead coal on alcohol. You need gasoline to get them primed. What happens is once you use that gasoline to prime the motor, the vacuum created by the motor will suck the fuel up through that piece of line up here into either your toilet or into your uh, carburetor and let the motor get started. So the, the primer system is really pretty simple.